Earlier this week, we brought you the stories of several Orange County families experiencing homelessness in the suburbs. Those stories touched a lot of people, folks who say they see this in their neighborhoods every day. And so it touched me because, like I said, you know, we've walked through that. West 2's Anika Hope went to Deltona to hear from two women who say families in Deltona need more help. The nonprofit Deltona Strong started to get calls about families on the verge of homelessness. Eventually, we were contacted by law enforcement because they really don't know what to do. Terry Ellis said they looked around them. All of the organizations flush with resources that could help were not in Deltona. Even though we're the biggest city in, in Volusia County, all of our resources are outside of Deltona. During the last census count, Deltona clocked in around 95,000 people. In comparison, Daytona Beach had just under 75,000. Deltona kind of grew up in silence, right, as it were. It grew up in silence. It was initially meant to be a bedroom community full of retirees. So the infrastructure, meaning the social infrastructure, was never there. But Commissioner Dana McCool told me every week they hear from families who desperately need support. It makes it really difficult when, you know, you are in that position where you've lost your home. You don't have the gas or the energy, you know, to call around and call around and go here and run to Daytona Beach and run to DeLand and run to DeBerry and, you know, that's crazy. Ellis and McCool say what makes sense and studies show works a coordinated care center where people can get help from multiple organizations in one spot. What can we do to be proactive? What is going to get you to avoid homelessness? They want a permanent place in Deltona, but until then they plan to host Deltona Community Services Day at the center at Deltona. You know, well, what do we need and what do we see in Deltona? What do we need in Deltona? And answering those questions together. Anika Hope, West 2 News.